going on everybody this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to spawn uh, hellhounds or any other kind of custom enemy on set wave numbers in the multiplayer zombie survival template so let's say every five or ten waves you want hellhounds to spawn then they, they will this is how we're going to do it and it's pretty easy just uh, set up your enemy so I've set up just a simple hellhound here I don't even have the animation set up on it but just for the demonstration he set up here. Uh, you can follow my other tutorial on YouTube on how to set up a proper animated um, say zombie, hellhound, lion, whatever whatever your creature is on and setting up the attacks, animations and all that. I actually think I set up a lion on the, the video I used. So you can watch those videos for getting the actual AI and attacks and animations but this is just for spawning. So to get it to spawn, by default, the zombie spawners have a array here that spawns base zombie or whatever you have plugged in here. So it's usually normal zombies. So what we want it to happen is we want to reuse these same spawn points that we have here and here and here, but we want them to all spawn hellhounds or whatever enemy you're using. So what we want to do is we want to open up the uh, actual zombie spawner so it's inside of HGT AI zombie and then zombie spawner zone we open up the zombie spawner zone and we're gonna do some work in here uh, the first thing we want to do is um, you'll probably look like this it'll say spawn zombie we're in the spawn zombie function we're gonna take this uh, these nodes here to check for the game mode uh, copy these and open up the event graph and find the begin play you might have to type in begin play create this event and then we're going to paste this in here connect it up right there and then go back to the spawn zombie and we're going to remove it from here like that okay and then what we're going to do is open up the actual game mode so we'll go to HGT we'll go to core blueprints we'll go to gameplay gameplay GM open it up and what we want to do is just make a simple custom event right click type in create custom event and add custom event here I call mine check for hellhound wave and once you create that event, you want to scroll down here to where it says wave change slash intermission. Go all the way to the end of it and add that event here. So you would drag off and type in check for hellhound wave. And that's where it'll plug in. So at the end of every round, it's going to check to see if the next round is supposed to be a hellhound wave. And that's where we're going to do our little check here. So this is our custom event that we just created right here. What we want to do is create a new variable. You come down here and click the plus sign. I call my variable hellhound wave. Make sure it's set to type integer. And make sure the default value is set to whatever you want. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to set it to 1. So on wave 1, wave 1 is going to be hellhounds, which in your game, probably going to be something like wave 5, wave 6, wave 10, wave 15. You know, whatever you want it to start out, that's what it's going to be. So if it is equal to that number, then we need to set up the next one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it the next um, Hellhound wave will be every two to three waves. So in this use case, uh, Hellhounds are going to spawn on wave one. And then two to three waves later, it's going to spawn Hellhounds again. So on wave, what, three or four? Alright, so then you can see here I've created another variable. I click the plus sign. I called it is special wave question mark and it's set to type boolean and the default value is false. Um, off of this true pin here, you set is special wave to true. If it is a hellhound wave, if it's not a hellhound wave, you set it to false. And then if you want to play a sound such as the fetch me their souls sound or whatever you want <laughs> whatever you want to play on everyone then you just call this event that's already created you just right click and type in play wave change sounds and then just pick whatever sound you got so I made a simple sound cue um, leave the attenuation to blank if you want it to be heard 
anywhere on the level. So basically, in every everybody's ears, they're going to hear it, regardless if they're underground, underwater, whatever. And then just make sure you set the class to something like sound effects. That's what I, I figured that would be considered sound effects. So that gets that logic done. Now we just uh, hop back into the actual zombie spawner zone. Uh, this this little guy here, zombie spawner zone blueprint, and we need to to uh, fix this up. So first thing we want to do, we want to drag in game mode reference, get it, drag off of it, and say get is special wave, and hold down B on your keyboard and then left click, and you can create a branch node real quick. So we're going to check to see if it's a special wave. If it's not a special wave, then we are just going to take uh, this type of enemy spawn here. I'm going to disconnect it. We are just going to move it down here and say get ran like random array item. We're just going to get a random one and let's just delete that here. I'm just cleaning this up, making it a little cleaner. We'll get a random and set the special enemy. So plug that into false. So this reads like this. If it's not a special wave, we're just going to get the typical zombies, pick a random one, set them as the one to spawn. And then it keeps on going with the logic. All right, now if it is a special wave, we want to spawn a hellhound, right? So there's a couple ways you can do it. You can just literally set special enemy to hellhound right here. Or you could um you could create a new what you call this? Actually, that's not supposed to be called special enemy. That's supposed to be called type of enemy to spawn, right? No. Maybe that is what it's supposed to be set to. Yeah, special enemy to spawn. Okay. Never mind. Just getting the, the name in is a little confusing here. Uh, but yeah, you can just set this to Hellhound if you just want it hard set to Hellhound. So if it's a special one, you would set it to true, and then this would plug in like that. And you are good to go. But let's say maybe you got four different types of Hellhounds, you know, different looking ones. And you can come down here and you could uh, create a new variable. We'll just call it um, types of hellhounds and you change the type to a pawn so you would type pawn come down here and make sure it's a class reference the purple one click that and then you make sure this is set from single change it to an array and uh, then you can just compile and add the hellhounds that you want here so this would be hellhound and then you can add you know you can keep adding more. Hellhound 1, Hellhound 2, Hellhound 3. As many as you want. I only have one right now, so. Well, I mean, I could probably. I'll sh I can make a different one, I guess. Eh, for the sake of the tutorial. I'll leave it like that. Alright, so. There we go. We got that. And then once you'd have this array, you would just do the exact same thing. Type a Hellhound. Pick a random array item. And set the special enemy type to that. And then voila. If it's a special wave, it'll pick a random hellhound. If it's not a special wave, it just picks a random zombie. And like I said, it should we have it set to where it's gonna spawn them on wave one, and then we'll go let's change this between one and one. So every every wave every uh, every two waves. You would probably want to range, but I'm gonna for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna do it this way. So we should get a hellhound on wave one, and then we'll have a normal wave, and then I think we should have hellhounds on wave. Fetch me their souls. So it says fetch me their souls. And then here comes the hellhounds. Oh, we kill these dogs, and yes, I know blood is not realistic, but you can change the material the physics or whatever you call it the impact effects and stuff I can show you after this so now wave 2 should be back to normal it's not a special wave oh, the zombies. All right. now let's see if 
wave three. I don't know if it's wave three or four. I think it's Fetch me their souls. Fetch me their souls. Wave three is another. Is a hellhound, and I spawn hellhounds again. Go then. Watch out. Then it should go back to the normal way. Normal way. So we killed all those. Now it'll go back to uh, normal again. So it'll just keep going through every every two waves. It'll be a hellhound wave. So let's see here. That gives you all the stuff you need you to edit. So you can change the initial Hellhound wave and then you can change these values. You can even promote these to variables if you wanted more control. If you don't want to have to hard set this every time. I would say it's saying just something like five to seven rounds and then the initial one probably like wave six. I don't know. Something like that. And there you go. So that's how you would do that. And for those of you who are saying, but how do you make it where the the bones don't have blood when you shoot the bones. Well, yeah, that's not really related to this video, but you would click on the mesh. You would come down here to somewhere under, I think, Unreal Engine 5 is a little different. Yeah, Collision. And right now it's set to its physical material override. is set to Flash. You could change it to something else. I think Flash is all I have in the tutorial and the template by default, but change it to nothing then it'll probably uh, have just default impact effects which would probably look good on a uh, skeleton right so let's see if we drag a skeleton in and we shoot it yeah. <laughs> just get the plain Jane impact effects but uh yeah, this is the material override right here. You could uh, change this to whatever you want. And then inside a third person character, there's a uh, impact effects that you can also change for for that. But that's not really related to this video. Alright, so hopefully that helps. You can spawn any kind of special zombie you want. This is just a uh, rough a uh, rough uh, explanation to get you going. You can always elaborate, add more rules, conditions, checks, or whatever you want to do. I um, hope that helps. And uh, thanks for watching.